Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. When last we left off, we had solved a murder mystery. And in so doing, we leveled up. And now we will be a level 2 Jedi Consular. It says level 10 because it combines our levels, and that's kind of how... That's how, like, 3rd edition D&D stuff works, even... And Star Wars is based on 3rd edition, so... But we only get our Jedi Consular level from now on, which is why we only get one skill point from now on. Which is pretty crappy. Um, I'm gonna get more Persuade, and Powers, let's see, it's one of the reasons why using the droid might actually end up being kind of necessary, is because I, I need somebody with computer skill at the very least, but I only get one power this level, that sucks. Well, getting Force Cure is a light side power, so getting that I believe gives you more light side points, and that would be a pretty handy one. I do kind of want to get a force power shields the Jedi and the force absorbing the force. 15 points of damage from all that stuff. We've got shields for that. Power offers some protection from the Jedi from direct force power attacks of Jedi opponents. That's not bad. It's not a bad power. Force resistance, not bad. Burst of speed would be pretty nice. It does just give you, for the duration of this effect, 36 seconds. Movement speed is doubled and two defense is gained. So it just gives you a couple points of defense and you, you do. Um, when you get up to here, you actually get more attacks per round, which is really cool. You get two extra attacks per round. Um, all the way up at the highest. So, Burst of Speed is actually a really good power. Um, stun is a really good power, too. Um, and high level stuns, Stasis and Stasis Field, can like completely just make enemies just, just lose. All hostile creatures within a 10 meter radius of the target and enemy in a canatonic stasis. The victims remain in this state for 12 seconds, but have a successful fortitude save. DC of 5 plus the attacking character's level plus the attacking character's wisdom and charisma modifiers means the targets are slowed instead of stunned. So, yeah. And it's the same thing here. Um, opponent held in power is held in stasis and able to move and take an action for 12 seconds. Successful blah blah blah. So it's only one. Um, stun just is stuns them for 9 seconds. So it's not a whole lot of... It's not really great. Um, wound is dark side. Slow is dark side. This one, I'm not really sure why you would need it. Um, it doesn't really... It's not a very good power. Um, at least, I don't think so. I mean, it gets it gets good. Most of them get good. So we could learn Shock. Uh, it does good damage. Drain Life, also a great power. Life of others to heal himself. One to four points are drained for every level of the character, up to a maximum of ten levels. So I would be able to do the 10 level one uh, for 10 to 40 points. And it, you can reduce it by half, but that doesn't really help too much. Um, Drain Life turns into Death Field. Uh, I mean, I guess it doesn't turn into it. This is just Drain Life is a requirement for getting Death Field, um, which we, I don't think we'd be Drain Life to heal the Jedi. It does it to everything in the area. This is all, it's crazy, crazy powerful. So we could get advanced through a lightsaber. Allows the character to attack up to three separate targets with a single lightsaber throw. First target must be at least five meters away. Each additional target must be within five meters of the previous. This attack always hits. Deals one to, one to six. Once the lightsaber is thrown, it will automatically return to the Jedi hand at the end of the round. Um, doesn't mention it requiring more force points. So that could be a really good ability to get. I'm thinking burst of speed or cure at this point though. Within a 15 meter radius, heals five, heals 10, plus one for every charisma, wisdom, for every charisma, wisdom, and level of the force user. Poisons are neutralized. So heal actually isn't that great. Cure is pretty good, but heal isn't actually that great. Or, um, 
Yeah, because it all it does is heal poison, and it gives ten. It gives ten instead of five, which is only five better. It's really not that necessary. I'm sort of thinking burst of speed, to be honest, because I could get night speed if I got burst. Although, isn't there a force power? Yeah, once a Jedi has this power, extra options will appear in conversations such as appropriate. Success is not guaranteed for extreme commands or if the target is strong-willed. This power does not affect droids. Only the main player character can select this power during a level up. I do think I want effect mind. I do think I want it. I also want stun. We are going to gain a bunch more levels in this game, so I mean, you know, um, effect mind would be kind of kind of handy to have. And I don't have a lot of force points for combat right now, so having abilities that I want to use like every for every battle is not necessarily a good idea. I don't have a lot of force points for cure. I'm going to go with effect mind for now. That's what we're going to do. Mission level up. She's a level 9 scoundrel. She is bad at computers. And also very bad at repairing. Alright, so she's... That's right, she's actually the one who's good at everything I'm not. Um, he's a level 9 scout. He could be getting computer use, but he hasn't been. He could also get a lot better repair. I think I'm actually gonna do that, because she has demolitions. He doesn't need demolitions. Because I, I don't see a, a team composition where um, Zalbar is in the team and Mission isn't. At least not for my setup. So we could get Master Power Attack. There you go. We could also get Master Critical Strike, which would be great. If the attack hits, the target is also stunned for 6 seconds, unless they make a DC 4. DC save. Attacking character's level, plus the strength modifier. Plus the strength modifier. It actually doesn't change that, so maybe getting him improved flurry, or... He's already got melee weapon. Could get him dueling, since he is using a plus 1 sword. He is just using a one-handed sword in one hand. Or we could start getting him two weapon fighting. I mean, we could, we could. I'm thinking improve flurry though. That's what I'm thinking. Either improve flurry or master power attack. But I don't know about master power attack. Let's go with improve flurry. Unless I really want him to start using a dual, dual bladed. Hmm, I'm actually not sure. I need to... Can I back out of this? No. Dang. I can't. <sighs> I don't know how this game's two-handed weapon stuff goes yet. I'm actually not sure. And if I get two weapon fighting and I don't make him use a dual-bladed weapon or something like that, it's just a huge waste. I mean, there is conditioning and things like that. I could get him toughness, since he has... Gives him... It'd give him, like, almost 10 hit points. Dueling or two-weapon fighting. Or just improve... Let's just get improved flurry for now. Move on with life. Oh, dang it. Improved flurry. Except. Because um, I kind of want to know... A few things. Yeah, see, the vibro... The Vibro Double Blade actually can't be upgraded. So, Mission's Vibro Blade can. So I would, ha I would have been able to give him the Prototype Vibro Blade and Mission's Vibro Blade. Um, and have him just use two, two Vibro Blades. Um, 
But for now, he doesn't really need that. Plus two to strength. Just right there. Boom. Just it just gives you plus two to strength. Um, hmm. Do I want that? Or do I want the extra defense off my dexterity? I think right now, let's give that. Yeah, let's give that to him. Seems like a good idea. Another melee shield. Let's, let's give him the other melee shield we got. And I don't think I got anything else in that last battle that I didn't already have. So, I think we're good to go now. We are good to, to continue onward. In the ways, doing, doing things in the ways of the Jedi. We are actually looking for a droid. I don't know where the droid is. But I'm gonna go this way, down here. I don't know. Looking for this droid. So these are the sand draw grounds. I don't know if we care about these or not. I'm assuming the answer is basically no right now. But who knows? Maybe we do. Bunch of leveling up to do, it took forever. My bad on that one. Could have been a little bit more prepared, I guess. I just don't know what to do with my characters. That's the thing, right? Like, and it's one of those things about those games, about RPG games where you only get to choose so many of your feats and you can't just get, you can't eventually grind up enough to get everything. Um, that I tend to be kind of bad at sometimes is that I don't eat, a lot of the time, I will uh, not power game, Really? And so my characters can end up being kind of on the weaker side. Um, and that's not necessarily bad, but it is something that definitely occurs with me in these types of games. Alright, so we've got a Mandalorian out there. Apparently I'm going to throw a frag grenade. Kind of meant to huh? press the down key on that one. Um, I want him to have one of my concussion grenades. And I want you to run into combat. Oh boy. I don't want me to run into combat though. Yes. I will throw my lightsaber. Apparently after I do all these other things. Bam. Hmm. Should I activate the Sith energy shield? No, I should just flurry that guy. Yeah, you are targeting the right one. What? Throw a concussion grenade at him. Nice shot, nice shot. Power blast. Yes? I don't really want my character to accidentally use any force powers there. We did not need them, so... Got him. <laughs> hey, a metal case. What's in there? A repair kit. What's in here? 50 credits and some mines. It's gotta be said, I've always been really bad at using the mines in this game. Mandalorian data pad and some stabilizer gauntlets. An adrenaline amplifier. A repair kit. Sonic grenade and some more credits. Okay. Uh, data pad. Data pad. <sighs> Take a couple troops. Find out who it is. It's the same one. Okay, so we got the same data pad again. 
I guess I should find out what those gauntlets we just got do. Demolitions plus two. Those are not bad. Go ahead and take those. Wear them with pride. Um... I guess you might as well have the Arcadian Energy Shield. Somebody what? should use it. I mean... Oh. Big old, big old calf hound. Mission. Huh? Do you want to, do you want to help? Do, do you want to help? How about you, Zalbar? You into, you into helping? Sure. Uh, Flurry! Oh boy. Oh gosh, these cat hounds are attacking that guy. Get him off! Force push! Didn't do much. We got him. Oh, it's they were attacking the droid. Personal assistance droid. As I said, I am C842, a personal assistance droid. Although in recent months the assistance I render seems to have taken on a disproportionate significance. Are you Elisa's droid? Did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. Were you running from her? Yes, but I have my reasons. I'm afraid my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She... She tried to treat me as her dead husband. It was not healthy for her. Uh, all the time? You don't want to know. Um, probably not. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. What? Are you suicidal or something? I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people. Living people, please. Will you destroy me? Fine. I'll destroy you and tell you and tell her why you did it. Thank you, kind sir. You have my eternal gratitude. It's a crystal cave. It's a crystal cave. We can get some cool Jedi crystals. Oh, yeah. Oh. Apparently they won't be free. Beep! <laughs> Let's throw our lightsaber at whatever that is. That's a good way to start. Just just wom 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 wom. I don't know what's up with this. This is different music. Ow! Can I can I fight? Oh, I think I was waiting to be able to get to that one. <laughs> that was... That was silly. That was silly game. I will force push you! You'll never get me! Oh. Attack this one. Ow! Yeah, 
in here. What are you doing? Oh, this is bad. Oh, that one gave me 500 shares. Steals a response package. King Rask Egg. Huh? Snuffing out the innocent life within. Oh, don't put it that way. <laughs> You've acquired lightsaber crystal. Is there more lightsaber crystals for me to acquire? You acquired a lightsaber crystal. A lightsaber crystal. Any more? No, just more tin math eggs. Wait, was that a crystal formation? Yes, it was. A lightsaber crystal. Yeah, don't mind me. Finding lots and lots of lightsaber crystals. And another one. Any more? Oh, yep. Not a lightsaber crystal. Bunch of eggs. So you can actually press Q and E to, like, cycle through everything that's currently targetable. I always forget about it, like, legitimately. Um, so when we come back, um... I can't do it from here. So when we come back, I will have returned to the Ebon Hawk and... We will go and turn in some of our quests and stuff like that. Um, I don't really want to have to walk. I don't really want to walk back, um, if that makes sense. Okay, I just ran past the exit. Oh god. Oh, is it because Zalbar is nowhere near us? Yeah. What? Zalbar, catch up. And the game wasn't like. What the heck? Catch up! You stupid people! Alright, well, when it when I can finally get out of this cave, I will get out of this cave. And... What happens? Um... Can, can, I, can I leave now? Thank you. What happens, it happens. I'll see you all then. Have a good one.